Hey guys, Mark with Precision Computing. Today I'm gonna give you guys an idea on how I make a template when I wanna cut out uh, like a plate for more than one fan so I have the perfect spacing so I can use my hole cutter and cut the holes and have the exact spacing I need in between. Perfect uh, marks for where the screws will hold the fans in place. And we start like this. What I do is I take a couple pieces of paper and tape them together. I then set my four fans on top in this case, because I'll be making a, a four fan hole for the TT Arcade. Then what I like to do is tape it to my surface, and this place is, in this case, is just a piece of acrylic. And, so we'll need masking tape, of course. We'll get that out of the way. Then what I do is I take just a regular pencil, and I mark the outside of the fans, so I know where the edge is. In this case, on these TT fans, uh, these are the premium uh, Ring Plus fans. There's about a sixteenth of an inch of plastic here. So if I mark the outside, I'll come back with this, or you could use like a protractor. I just can't find my protractor, and this happens to be the exact dimension of the fan. So I'll come back with this, I'll set it down, and I'll make my circles. Okay, that's all I'm doing with that is using that so that I can come back and make a perfect center line because when I use my hole saw to make the holes in the wood, it's gonna start with the drill bit perfectly in the center and that's going to uh, state where my hole will be made. So I gotta have that perfect center mark for each fan so that I get the exact spacing I need in between. And then what I do is I take the innards of a pen and I put that down because that'll actually reach all the way down to the paper so that I can make a hole and you'll see inside there, there's the little pen mark. And then what I'll do is I'll, that'll make all of my holes to mount the fans. Um, in this case, I'm going through three, almost three quarter inch wood. So I'll be drilling all of these holes and then these will be mounted on the back side. There'll be the holes for the fans that'll be like this. So once we have this layout done, what I'll do then is I'll take my tape off and I'll give you guys an idea of what this looks like underneath. And again, I don't really push it to the fans. It's just kind of something to hold them in place so I don't have to worry about them moving around on me while I go through this process. So we get rid of our tape, get rid of our pencil here, get our fans out of the way, and we'll see we have our marks perfectly for our 16 holes, and then our outer marks for our fan. So when I take this, and I come right to the center like so, hold it down, Again, a protractor would do the same thing. You would just put your center mark in the center. We mark our circular, circular portions. And again, this should leave just a small portion in between the fans if we do this correctly. Line everything up. This is actually slightly larger than what the whole of the fan will be. So as you'll see, it'll leave about maybe uh, an eighth inch in between, roughly. And these holes aren't going to be perfect because this is just where I'm going to get my center mark from. Oops. So there we have our four holes. We have our 16 screw holes. And then I'll take uh, a ruler and I'll measure the distance across here, the distance across here, I'll mark perfect center. So it'll be something like so and like so. And then that will be the perfect center. Of course, not that because I didn't measure it, but that'll be the perfect center. That'll be where I start my inner drill bit for my hole saw so that it drills perfectly down. Then I'll take one of my fans and just verify because I can see my pen marks there for my holes. Make sure that the fan is still exactly in line with where my circle is. We can see our little bit of gap on either side, which is exactly how my circle is. So I know that there's templates. I know there's templates online um, that you could probably get that would be for one, one 20 millimeter fan, maybe even for two, three, and four, possibly for radiators and things like that. Um, but what I found is that a lot of fans have different spacing in between where the, this, this space here. Um, so especially with these ring plus fans, it's got a real thin edge here because of this inner circular ring and the fan blades are actually slightly smaller than a 120 millimeter. They don't go all the way to the edge. 
because of that inner brightness of all of the 12 LEDs that are in there that are addressable. So for these, I wanted to make sure that it was perfectly custom so that when it gets mounted behind the piece of wood, I get that full brightness of those LEDs coming through and I don't have too much wood left in between here that's hiding some of that light from coming through. So you can use generic templates online. Um, sometimes I just like to make sure that it's completely custom so that I know that my fans are gonna be perfect match to the project that I'm working on. Hopefully this, got, this helped you guys out. Again, I'm sure there's a hundred ways to do this. This is just a simple way that I found to do it. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned to the next video and mod on.